Hi everyone. We're gonna try and do this again. We're just going to get an ita here and I think we finally have done it though. Thank you. Pee -pee. We've done it. Are we happy there? Hi. Oh my god. I'm exhausted. I'm physically exhausted. I can't this I can't is what is with all this technology and all of us only interacting through Insta live but I can't but I'm so happy we're finally here though. Okay, let's do it. Let's do it. I'm so sorry to everybody, but I don't know what went wrong. We tried from every possible device. Um, something, something went. It was meant to be at five forty-seven and not five o'clock. So we're here to do this together now. <laughs> but before we start, I would love to introduce this amazing Please. session we're about. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I would say this is a very special session for me because I feel like, and you know, every thing I've learned about fashion and style has been from you for the past decade. And I think, I think we've spent so many hours sitting in your office and just, I mean, fashion was just a part of our life. It was never a, we never had to sit out, sit and kind of discuss it ever. So this is so cool because for the first time we're sitting and we're talking about styling and fashion and everyone here is going to get a 101 from you on how to be styling their diamonds. And I think that's so cool. And it's the first time we've ever done this. Oh, I'm, I'm actually, I was just, so, I have to say, I was so excited and relaxed. But now I'm hyper, which might just be better for everyone. <laughs> uh, yeah, so yeah. tell me. I, because I, I mean, I don't know if people know that uh, uh, Priyanka and I uh, worked for together for many, many years. Uh, uh, not only was she my right arm, but she was my backbone. And uh, she, you know, I also now this, I just want to say one thing, I, I should do this, do not disturb, right? Because I didn't yes. do it because we're chatting so much. But will it go off? Forget it. Let it be. Let the messages come. Okay. So uh, yeah, she's, she's a dear friend. She's family. And uh, I'm quite happy to be chatting with her. I, I don't even realize that all of you are listening in and it's super exciting. Yeah. So, yes, I tell know. me. We'll pretend we're on a FaceTime chatting. Yes, absolutely. Guys, if you all have any questions, please, please feel free to ask in your comments. And if we can get to them, that'll be great. So I have to start off by saying, I think I heard you say the words T-shirt diamonds years and years and years ago on set. And I know that there's a very fun story behind it. Why don't we kick it off by telling everyone what we mean by T-shirt diamonds? Absolutely. It's, it, it, we mean me. Look, I'm in my diamonds. I, now I've got to go a little higher to show you. And mm -hmm. here. So it's actually a fabulous story. We were shooting for the very first issue of Vogue India uh, in Jaipur uh, with the amazing photographer Paolo Roversi. And those of you who don't know him, please look him up because he's an icon. So it was like a dream come true uh, to even just bask in his shadow for me. And uh, we were there and, you know, we had half a day off and I said, I must do some cultural activities. So we took them to Gem Palace. And uh, of course, very sweetly at that time, Munu whisked us off to the terrace where we sat on lovely like char pies and these huge diamond necklaces just kept coming like in trays, like almost like it was Farsan, you know, like yeah. Tana. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> and, and we put them on and I was like, oh my God, these are incredible. And at that point, we all thought like, you know, if you have these diamonds, you don't need fancy clothes. They're t-shirt diamonds. So that's and, how it happened. No, and... and Honestly, and the whole point of diamonds, especially I think for, you know, us in, in, a, in a younger generation that isn't buying diamonds just as an investment or just for a true so, that is the kind of diamonds we want to buy. That's the whole point of it. That's the fun of it. Yeah, so, that is, so getting to my next question, do you believe diamonds are the ultimate accessory? I mean, I don't know about the ultimate accessory, but I think they're a mood lifter. Uh, I think there's a lot of emotion attached to a diamond. Like if you think about it, you know, when you, th you, you think about your special jewels, uh, there's always some connection to a diamond, right? Um, I think it, 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 it's storytelling. It, it, it has so much to stay. It could be something that was passed on from generation to generation, or it could be something that you saved up and bought for yourself, you know, however big or small. 
so i think there's 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 a lot of emotion i also feel it's strength like it's it's strong a diamond never breaks and it kind of gives you that inner strength but i mean coming back to what you were saying earlier uh, pp is that um, i think our mindset has changed right earlier i'm sure even when you were younger it was like diamonds were pulled out for special occasions they were Absolutely. not just to be worn whereas i think all of us now and you know the way it's developed the way we've like kind of made people stack up their jewelry mix you know costume jewelry with real jewelry telling a story we're telling a story with our jewelry and i feel we wear our diamonds way more casually uh, and uh, i love that no 100% and i think you've always kind of been a pioneer of wear your diamonds casually i mean you used to say that to us all the time it was kind of like the narrative that would go on in our heads because we learnt then to combine fashion and diamond jewelry and not just i mean you can mix it up and mingle it but what i know you used to love to do was is, is mixing denim and diamonds and layering oh uh, hello i'm like all ready for you here i am denim this is big i know and you love diamonds look at that okay i mean do i need anything else i mean of course now my chest is cut off because the screen is split into two others i'm 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 little longer and leaner but uh, look at that how cool is this look amazing I mean, it is amazing so intoxicating for me you know because i really feel like even now you know post the pandemic no one really feels like dressing up madly you know we're all like more into our norm core and like wearing our casual clothes but a little bit of like you know natural diamond glow always helps to feel good and you know i want to show you this piece that i have here it's so amazing from going car so it's like three strings of diamonds right now again height is not helping me but look look at that now if i yeah. layer that i you know so your love letter silver necklace another moksh little dangly diamond thing and then i put this on i could go from day to night to weekend to the next morning you know i mean like there's no stopping me so uh, we, you actually did a whole shoot on denim and diamonds because that's how much you believed in it absolutely that and we did that shoot with alia i remember and uh, it was quite incredible because we we shot that in the blue city in jodhpur uh, so uh, we shot her there and even though she was such a big movie star she, you know you remember she was just so chilled out and relaxed we would shoot on the streets early in the morning with like stray dogs still waking up and she looked amazing because i think also you know when it comes to styling i guess it, i want to go back to this shoot a little bit because i feel there's something for all of us to learn from it that even though she was wearing simple denim separates uh, and loads of diamonds her hair was not like fancy i have kind of done it all like you know pc and broken up and like a little smudge like almost like the morning after look of a party so i feel you know you have to interpret it in the way that suits you best you know there are some people who like might want to wear a more structured shirt and their necklace over a buttoned collar so it all actually comes down to wearing what works for you uh enjoying it uh and uh, you know just being your own statement i guess what do you think are the essentials a woman or a man need for stacking their diamond jewelry things that you i mean i know you're a big believer in stacking and speaking of diamonds every day, yeah cool stack perfect for everyday jewelry so you know i i feel like we all go through phases okay like if you remember correctly like i used to have like many colored things on my wrist okay and now suddenly i've decided that i'm i'm in the mood just for like diamonds gold and leather but if you look I'm, like could yeah okay. you're in carnival mode but i say <laughs> i could easily <laughs> beautiful like encrusted bracelet you know yeah that's fine also like you know i mean tennis bracelets like we all like feel like we need one uh but i remember the first one i got i never got solitaires i got uh, like almost like drops and i and yeah. anyone can see and and, and like had them uh, had them oh, lined so planting but then look at these see how beautiful these are king Yeah so I feel like you know have fun with it you know uh, I think the whole joy of stacking even this beautiful piece from Moksh you know it it looks old but it's new it's light yeah. as 
ever you know really really beautiful so i feel you, you okay if for the lazy stacker i have a solution it's a it's a diamond slinky <laughs> no that's amazing yeah so going cars made this of course i have the biggest hands in the world so it ain't fitting me but i can still admire and maybe make one of my clients wear it so yeah so i think stacking is um, you know it it should it should talk about who you are as a person right it should be uh, like if you have say you travel somewhere uh, you went on a holiday and you got a cool little um, uh, what's it called a uh, little rassi ka thing tied on your hand for lack of a better word then that's your story you know uh, priya tanna wants this bracelet we're going to send it to she said she does have hands okay pt sending it to you you should have come out with me while i'm doing this but anyway yes. yakta loves her diamonds by the way i hope everybody knows that this <laughs> yeah. yeah so uh yeah coming back to the stacking so i feel like yes of course there are things that we all have that we go to but it's important to add your little bits to it like like i said so for me the strength of leather you know this this sailor or bracelet it really it it, it just feels right you know i'm i'm a strong girl i feel i'm broadly built so that gives me toughness if someone feels more fragile and softer then then they should wear maybe like crystals and look at you miss quirky at her best wearing candy on your hands so you know it, it, it you have to find what works for you diamond tennis is in the middle that and i find that so much fun and weird <laughs> did you say thank god see that's what it is right that's what it is you have to have fun jewelry don't keep it in a tijori what's the point no. yeah i'm uh, this might be almost a stupid question to ask you but do you think less is more are you crazy not at all <laughs> not at all i have never been a minimalist i've always loved jewelry uh and uh, i mean as people know in my work uh, there's always jewelry like i i know like you know fabio who worked with the london team at vogue would always say i don't think any other stylist calls in as much jewelry as you in the world and i'm like yeah, yeah but and uh, you know so yeah costa was here he's another jewelry lover so yeah we yeah. got so many our jewelry lovers in the audience yes no all, i mean but having said that again i don't want to like this someone's personality if they feel they are the type who'd like to wear one statement so maybe maybe i'm that person when i'm dressing up you know yeah. what i mean i is this while chatting with you uh yeah. that that when i'm dressing up maybe i like to do just a earring or just a neck not the whole set uh yeah. but in my casual life i quite like to break it up and layer things around So you're right. Actually, I think when we're when we're actually going for an event and dressing up, we like to go the that let's be chic route yeah. and just wear. Yeah. No, for sure, file it on in our everyday. So yeah, and that. And, and and you know, I think it's also my nature. Like I just realized, like when I was when I was styling Deepika for cocktail, I think that's when we first did the hand stack, and it kind of became quite a thing. Uh, it was obviously a projection of what I wanted. You know, Absolutely. so. um uh, it's really great to go with one's instinct and uh, yeah and then you'll be amazing cuz you'll feel good what are what are the jewelry trends you are loving right now and i know we're not very into oh this is a trend right now so let's wear it but there are some things that are just so cool and so new and is there anything like that you're loving or crushing on right now my god i am so obsessed with one particular trend i can't tell you and i you know i'm not the type that usually gets like that it's about yeah. wearing one statement earring just one and almost like a solitaire in the other or a, or a mismatched hoop in the other uh but you know that's that's uh that's what i love but it's, it's i mean uh, to do that I mean, it, it just... it's it, you know it's it's more like a rock chic trend so it's about like you know and and, and it's also a nice way to uh, mix up your earrings and wear them together like maybe yeah. some A diamond and an emerald in one year, and a diamond and a ruby in another. It's just, it's just fun, and I, and it's a trend that I'm, I'm absolutely loving right now. Really gets your jewelry to multitask. It genuinely does. Yeah. If you had to choose only five pieces of jewelry to live mm. with for, <laughs> only What? diamonds, uh, only 
five pieces of diamond jewelry five pieces of diamond jewelry okay it would definitely be my tennis bracelets those are one piece okay because i just love what they do they never come off my wrist uh, they're only there i think the only time i've ever taken them off is when i had to do laser <laughs> but i you know they don't yeah. come off pool wherever i am they're there um I I I have to say I I love an angular diamond solitaire. I I'm not passionate about round. So if you look if you look at you look at this ring, it's beautiful. Oh, no. Look at that. I just like clean lines. So I guess one statement ring. Um, definitely one pair of crazy danglers, maybe mismatched. Uh, and huge huge oh, huge. I don't know how many I've said. But you know, for me, I'm I'm quite sentimental, and I mean, this is a it's a, it's an old Art Deco piece, uh, which I really love. I sometimes string it on pearls, or I could wear it on a really thin uh, diamond necklace. Also, like my hanuts, as Priya has reminded me, this is many people are Deco. Yeah, my hanut is everywhere, and my hanuti is so talented. Uh, just so proud to have known him almost all my life. Yeah. I think I think that's that's isn't that five? And then of course I think the last piece has to be something like like I wear this beautiful jade and hand painted eye uh, necklace that I bought at Limbil many many years ago, and it just feels me, you know. Yeah. So yeah. that's it. I don't need nothing else. And then you up, and that's always fun. Yeah. You know we've spoken so much about your. personal style and how you like to put looks together for yourself and uh, you know just in general every day but when it comes to styling celebrities and editorials which you've basically been doing for 25 years have you ever had an instance where the jewelry came before the look uh oh. i think maybe maybe you know uh, in the early years when we styled victoria beckham it was a shoot we did in london and uh, the whole idea you know the early days was to make everyone look indian because we wanted people to know that it was our cover this was from vogue india uh, and i a beautiful uh, like victorian style so like rose cut and all massive mangtika i don't even know if it was a mangtika or if it was a earring that i made into a mangtika uh, so that was my starting point i knew i wanted to do that and then you know then it 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 kind of went into the others priya has reminded me of sasha's uh, diamonds where we just gave her loads of diamonds there was no blouse and a just a like a hint of an orange sari so yeah, yeah. i think i very special as well uh, and uh, i mean i'll tell you an interesting story when we're talking about editorial so we were shooting a cover with dipika and uh, this one necklace that was made in the world like the only piece of it arrived for the shoot um, and it arrived was- quite unconsciously yeah it was diamonds and and some emerald drops and i was like you know we it was this whole it was the it was the onset of instagram at that time and we were like about okay you know what uh what how, what so it was like the pika eating her instagram moment doing that you know and and suddenly uh when the jury came and the guy who brought it very casually uh, said to us that you know you can buy a penthouse for this for this worth of this necklace and i was like oh, okay i was like treating it like it was just you know like uh, uh uh what's the word like costume jewelry and it was so <laughs> special that when i put it on her i realized i needed nothing else so i literally put her in like a white shirt rolled up like casual uh, and i i remember this graphic uh, swimsuit bottom by shivan naresh yeah so yeah. some the necklace or the jewelry does all the talking so i yeah remember this issue like was yesterday it's june 2014 if i'm not mistaken oh, that was i have but date it, yeah you said that was unreal i mean it was just like pouring diamonds with those little emerald drops it was just stunning i remember that so clearly it was an iconic cover. i i mean that that images yeah. in my you know i mean i i i know what the bigas face looks like in it that's how much it was yeah so, i mean, I mean I, I, I think for her it was no because she she at that time had still not been as brazen as we had made her on that cover but it was so casual right that's like wear your jewelry but don't make a big hoo-ha about it just like chill like relax yeah. and a very sweet artist sent me a watercolor painting of that cover which is I know, I know. Yeah, yeah office <laughs> yeah so yeah it 
good stories all so many so many i mean uh, cindy crawford i remember when we shot her in la uh, and uh, she was wearing like a, this gold balma gown very zinat aman pardeen babi and then again we used these uncut diamonds so again for, it was my silent salute to indian craft and indian jewelry so yeah lo- jewelry is too important to me what do you th- is the way we will be buying diamonds now as in mm-hmm. like we discussed our generation is kind of buying cooler diamonds more wear diamonds i mean even though it, i mean you know even though it is an investment as as a lot of people do call it yeah it, we're scared any more of buying a really cool piece or an offbeat piece or you know buying the buying the ring because there's just a rim of diamonds around it and then an odd piece do you think that even like that's how we're investing it that's how we're buying now yeah i think the big change is earlier it was like okay how many carats is it so what's the quality so hence we'll pay for it or we won't oh my god now we're like we love the design i feel people people say that and and feel that we're going to buy it it's no longer we have to check 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 that checking is gone now and also the beauty that i'll tell you about the change in in our generation and i i think the younger generation is that they are happy to pay for design they are happy totally. to pay for they love it's not only for the value of the stone and i think that is a big change a very very big change no 100% and no one no one is scared to go the cooler route anymore yeah. we're okay cooler yeah. you know and this is just what i want it's 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 like love at first sight and and that's how you should buy your jewelry you should have a personal connection to it and yeah, and it, that being yeah sorry dynamic and shifting but the sentiment of a diamond is is on another level i mean i will always have a story connected to one of my pieces of jewelry like my wedding necklace i every time i wear it i'll think of my wedding or something my grand gave me i will think of her every time i wear it and don't you agree isn't that isn't that the actual like just the just how it, important it, it is it's very sentimental extremely sentimental but at the same time i want to tell people that don't get stuck on sentimentality so for example say your boyfriend or your husband gives you something that you really don't like change it <laughs> the sentiment will remain the same but you will enjoy it much more because it's not easy for people to gauge people's taste so easily so uh, how many easies that i put into that sentence but anyway so uh, yeah i feel like it's so it's okay you know you maybe you, like like i'll be honest with you if my uh, my husband has given me things that i've changed and i don't think the the thought or the emotion is different it's just yeah. now i love it more and i still associate it with the same memory So Absolutely, it, might use the same diamond to make another piece of jewelry or change it. But anyway, for <laughs> brides, you know, like don't feel shy to tell your future mother-in-law that you don't like something. It's okay. You're gonna have to wear it and live with it. You know, be bold. It's fine. You know, uh, it's. It, I, I think like the, like the jewelry wardrobe has become such an important thing. you know earlier it was only about like how many sarees are you getting or whatever and now it's like there's a casual side to the jewelry wardrobe like what we call top drawer jewelry you know yeah. stuff you just keep there where as and when you know like depending on your mood for the day so yeah i think um, okay someone's asked a question you can come <laughs> back to the long but that's the that's the fun of jewelry that's the point of it and i think a uh, um uh it's very sad when a piece of jewelry hasn't been seen for many many years like even a, a few weeks ago i went with my mum to her locker and there was stuff i mean i've been in her life for 30 years i've never seen it so i actually stole all of it and i'm just wearing it today and it's it's so uh, delicate yeah. it with my so and and it has become my top drawer jewelry it's exactly what you said so I also encourage everyone go and go, go through your parents' lockers and see what they have that they've been hiding and hoarding for all these years and and you know remove it and wear it. And also you know your taste changes. So sometimes you may feel like when you were younger you didn't like something 
uh, and then suddenly in a mood where it, it kind of clicks uh, and it works for you it's almost like you've grown to to the jewelry rather than the jewelry's grown to you and it's interesting i think uh, you know to relook at thing kind of evolve into that taste and your taste evolves as well i mean of course sometimes there are things that will never change but definitely at the jewelry you evolve with taste a lot true now true. kind of from our conversation i want yeah. you give our audience your three ultimate styling tips when it comes to jewelry let's conclude everything we said today okay let's conclude so number 1 mix mix your uh, precious natural diamonds with your fun costume pieces because that's what tells the story of who you are second is uh, uh, don't only buy big jewelry for like weddings and occasions because think about it how many weddings and occasions will every day you need to be wearing your diamonds casually and coolly so do that um third is like look in your cupboards you might just find like you know look at these these diamond bangles right they were considered very traditional like only a granny or a mummy wore two of them but i would happily wear them happily i am a but still <laughs> so yeah that and um, trend to watch out for is the one statement earring i showed that so badly one statement earring with anything or nothing on the other side yeah i think that's enough enough info for today enough info for today essay as we all call you thank you so much for giving us all this insightful information no oh, it's my pleasure i'm glad we could finally connect i mean it was ridiculous thank you for all of you who stayed on you want to take a few questions or you want to just sign out now i'm easy absolutely take a few questions uh someone asked for all fingers I- i've missed that If someone just asked rings for all fingers uh, do you think that's cool when you wear fingers on all what about rings? your toes i'm all for toe rings as well why stop at the fingers so yeah do whatever works for you i love actually i i've seen this woman once so elegant with just thin rings on all her fingers yeah yeah it works for you it works for you. i did that a lot when i was younger but not not right now No, absolutely. Let me check for some more questions, guys. Ask some questions. You have ASA here; she will answer whatever you want. Oh, what about oh. this leather, leather yes, jacket? Yeah. Yes. What? Leather jacket with diamonds or leather pants with diamonds? I mean, either, right? Okay. <laughs> so now, if you're doing leather pants and like a white ganji, like even like a just a ribbed simple ganji and a big diamonds i'm all for that uh, but if you're just i don't know if you're wearing like a sexy dress and a leather jacket everything works guys sorry there's a way to make it work but we do <laughs> make everything look good and so can you happy i think i think we're good with the oh how to stack a how to stack a solitaire engagement ring i mean uh, okay I don't know how to show this to you best, but like, look at I look at this ring. I don't know if you can even see it. Can you? Yeah. So it's got it's got like a black gold setting. Okay. Yeah. It has a couple of casual uh, emeralds thrown in. I love it. I love that it's asymmetric and out there. Uh, and you know, you could stack that. You could even stack your engagement ring with. Um, uh, my favorite is a is a eternity band made from baguettes. I think that's really cool and and strong. uh and uh, yeah stack with whatever you like i sometimes stack it with a i have a costume ring uh, by angana which is a little enamel eye so i stack it with that it, it depends on your mood and your comfort level uh, priya has asked what do yeah. you do with a diamond set that you know you will never wear uh so priya you can firstly send it to me that would be the best thing to do because i would know how to wear it no but i mean apart from that i feel you got to you got to you've got to spread it out so like one day you wear just the earrings with maybe a cool shirt and jeans uh the next day uh, like say if you're going to a friend's dinner you could wear the wear the necklace with a simple black slip dress uh so yeah you break it up you don't wear them all together and uh, uh you have fun with it you don't you don't don't you sort of forget it's a set unless you're going for that whole like you know like uh like maybe it's like, if it's like a family wedding and you feel the need to be uh tayar you know then you can wear the earrings the mantika and the necklace because there's a charm in that as well but i think as a guest refrain 
minus well, something minus something for sure always uh, they, they, uh, 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 chanel always said right minus the last thing you take off something i mean i'm always adding but that's just me i have a problem <laughs> where your da- uh, baguette ring is from mhm oh it's not mine uh, it is <gasps> i better not get this wrong i think it's from moksh it is from moksh yeah it's from moksh yeah uh just ask you again what important um what important question does white diamond go with traditional indian absolutely so you know i mean being a good parsi girl uh, we always uh, most of our jewelry was set in white gold right so we learned to wear it that way and i feel like now i see people pulling out their art deco sets and all which most of them were set in platinum so it's still white uh, and i think it works beautifully with indian clothes but i guess um, i still feel if you were wearing like a kanjivaram uh, or, or you know a, a more uh, strongly gold based sari then i i feel traditional jewelry looks prettier but you know for a tip i must tell you that i did recently for a party so i wore um, like a a simple diamond uh, a line of diamonds and then i i themed my little art deco pendant so i'm all about mixing uh, styles of jewelry like mixing your heritage pieces uh, with your contemporary pieces i think that's that's the fun in it 100% that is always fun i think we good to go yes again thank you so 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 much this was such I, a fun i know this was fun i feel like we could go on but i think the topics would change so let's so, let's get everybody in on our secrets now okay, bye guys thank you so much for all of, all your patience and uh, we had a bit of a technical issue but we got here at the end so that's all that counts <laughs> bye you. bye that's, thank you all you for all your lovely questions see you guys bye, bye.